guys welcome back to another episode of city skyline so last episode what we worked on was getting our oil industry up uh, we got that to level one i don't know how it's doing it's still importing quite a bit but we are making a little bit of a profit from it so actually quite a bit of a profit three thousand dollars from it it's not bad at all um obviously it's far from being perfect uh, we still need quite a bit of stuff that we need to do i don't know what we're lacking behind we're lacking behind uh let's see here workers by the looks of it so just we got the amount of resources to upgrade it's just not the amount of workers now one of the things that i was thinking about doing was um getting a proper exit and entrance onto this uh highway system Hopefully we can get uh, some people between the two areas and if possible uh, to make this line a um, like a pedestrian way so only emergency vehicles and stuff can go over uh, at least that's the general idea like I wanted to get that maybe set up or what we could do instead is rather than have all this traffic come out this way we have this uh, rail station right here. We could just make a part of this um, not feasible for or uh, traffic and put a pedestrian way in. That would work as well. So we would need a place for them to turn around, I think, but could work. We'll see how it turns out. Uh, that way emergency vehicles can still get through, but, um, you know, like the vehicles that are going through here which are ending up to go th all the way through the uh, city here which is causing congestion could basically benefit from not having as much traffic so we can try that and see how it turns out uh, I'm gonna just put a regular one in and we'll see how that turns out uh, this way they can still turn around if they need to and we should probably end up um, making a little turn away, turn around thing over here too, just so they don't have to uh, travel as far. And because they've been going all the way up here and turning around, right? So hopefully that will help a little bit. Okay, so this guy is going this way. Let's just keep an eye on.
So currently what I'm working on is getting this area flattened out so we can put that extra rail thing that we discussed last episode in. So basically what I wanted to do was hook up the, um, what do you call it, the uh, train line from over outside connection to the airport. And that way we'll have a little bit extra um, distribution over the area. And I figure this will probably be good because we have all this tracks and stuff around here. And we really need to tidy it up a little bit. So I wanted to try to get it as closest to the road as possible as we could get. And that will allow us to kind of redesign this area a little bit. But um, I've basically been just hooking up the lines. This one on the outer edge goes to this um, public train station here. Uh, train transport. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with this particular line just yet. Uh, we might carry it down along the coastline. And maybe put in another rail station somewhere over here. I'm not sure if we'll be able to fit there. If not, we'll probably put it over here. Just so it's a little bit closer to that part. Um, that might work. Um, I've been making bypass um, areas as well. So trains and stuff can bypass the station. I'm hoping that that will help with that. But I'm not sure how it will turn out. Uh, we might even want to bring this a little bit closer. So they don't have to like go completely around it might be able to move that one a little bit further out and see if that helps a little bit so I have to rearrange some of this okay so I'm gonna move redo this and we'll see if we can't get this as close as possible it's an elevated train station so we'll have to go up Uh, I just basically want it so it will kind of merge in to this line. So like that. That should be a little bit better, I think. And what we'll do is, because this is going to be really tight here, right? Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to get power over from that old location. So we'll see if we can't branch it off from here bring it
Hey, so we, we have quite of uh, high residential demand. So what I'm thinking about doing is expanding onto this little area over here, but with a little bit of a twist because it's its own island and we don't really have any way to connect up the city. Um, we have either an airport connection or we might be able to get something around here, but it would be a really tight fit. Uh, to go this way, right? So what I was thinking and then we have this whole area that we would have to like struggle with because it's a pretty large opening area. So what I was thinking about was just building a way over like this and then we could just make a pedestrian way like a complete pedestrian city thing on um, we'll see how that turns out. I haven't done that before so we could you know create a pickup area and all that other stuff and just have it come out directly where the um, airport is. I was thinking that might actually do really well because we don't have that much traffic going through here. Um, most of it is going towards into the city and it could really work that way uh, really well, right? So I was thinking maybe if we clean up this area, I'm not sure what kind of resources are in this area, but we can take a look. Um, resources okay so there's a bunch of ore in this area we don't really necessarily need the ore at the moment but um, clean we could clean up the area and put a kind of pilot area in just to see how it turns out and continue to expand it as we need it I think that might work really well So we'll decorate as we progress, of course, and we'll experiment with some different types of buildings and stuff like that. Okay, so that should be good for now. There's only a few more trees, we might as well delete them. Alright. <laughs> Uh, we'll leave this area undeveloped for the time being. I'm not sure what we'll be putting there, but we should figure out what we need for um, this area. So we're going to need a pedestrian way. We're just going to zone this entire thing as that. And we'll see how we can develop it. That should be good. All right. So let's go ahead and start with getting some of the roads we need.
so basically what I've done is I've started working on this section over here, farthest away from the gate, but uh, it should be good enough for at the moment. Uh, I put a large playground in. It actually fit perfectly within the area that we designed. So basically there's uh, not enough workers at the moment, but eventually people will start coming in here. Uh, we can even get a bus line quickly set up uh, for people to come in and out of, just so there's a route in. Uh, we'll see if, oh, can we not? Can we not do that? Oh no. Uh, we might need to put a tram line in then. Uh, that will have to wait until next episode though, because <laughs> I thought maybe at first we could just set up a bus line, but I don't think we can do that, um, actually. So, I don't know if there's ones with trees. I might be able to do that quickly, just check to see if there is. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's ones with trees. Can we actually go ahead and set up a bus line yeah we can set bus lines on these ones i think so we would need to um replace some of these roads with bus loop ones and we could do that and then have a main bus line going down the middle there um I'll fix that up quickly, and then we'll at least be able to get people over to this part. Uh, we might be able to make a small roundabout. I don't know if they can turn around there or not. Let's just quickly go to our bus tab, and we'll select you. Okay, I'm just going to set this up. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.